Hi friends, welcome. I am Professor S. Andarandale from College of Agriculture, Sonai, and we will see the classification of soil water. So, to start with, we will see some terms and concepts regarding this soil water. The first is PF value. It is introduced and defined by Schofield in 1935. PF is the scale through which we measure the force with which water is retained in the capillary or soil. PF range of capillary moisture is 4.2 to 6.0. The PF range of available moisture is 2.54 to 4.2. Moisture with about PF 2.54 is very favorable for plant growth. Water is retained by negative potential or free energy in the soil. Saturation or maximum water holding capacity. It is the water content of soil at which all the soil pores are filled with water. Energy status is zero. Water content double than that of the field capacity. Field capacity. The soil moisture held by soil against gravitational force is called as field capacity. It is half of the maximum saturation level or maximum water holding capacity of the soil. Energy status is 0.01 to 0.03 megapascals that is equal to 0.1 to 0.3 bar. MPa is megapascal which is the SI unit of pressure. Field capacity is considered as upper limit of water availability to the plants. PF range is 2.54. Now the permanent wilting point, also called as wilting coefficient, Lehman, Briggs and Homer Leroy Shantz in 1912 proposed the wilting coefficient. The soil moisture level at which plants wilt but do not die and are able to absorb small quantity of water just sufficient for their survival and the plants recover if water is applied corresponds to the inferior limit of available water. Energy status is minus 1.5 megapascals that is equal to 15 bar. Approximate PF value is 4.18. Now the ultimate wilting point. The soil moisture level at which plants die. Energy status is minus 6 MPa that is megapascals equals to 60 bar. Hygroscopic coefficient. Hilgard 1859 introduced the term hygroscopic coefficient. The amount of water that soil contains when brought to equilibrium with air at one standard atmosphere at 98% relative humidity at the room temperature. Energy status is minus 100 MP that is megapascals that is equal to 1000 bar. Approximate PF value is 4.5. Higher the clay content, higher is its hygroscopic co coefficient. Proposed by Lehman Briggs and J.W. McLean. This moisture equivalent term is not in use now, but the definition is given as the percentage of water which a soil can retain in opposition to a centrifugal force thousand times that of gravity. It is measured by saturating a sample of soil one centimeter thick and subjecting it to a centrifugal force of 1000 times gravity for 30 minutes. The gravimetric water content after this treatment is its moisture equivalent, no longer used in soil physics and is replaced by field capacity. Now we will come to the main topic of our video today, it is classification of soil water. It is classified in as physical and biological so we have physical classification of soil water and biological classification of soil water in physical classification it is first the hygroscopic water then capillary water and gravitational water it relates to the innate character of water present in the soil and the biological classification of soil water we have superfluous water available water and unavailable water on the part of the plant to which it has to be present and being available 
or not available. So, the physical classification of soil water, first hygroscopic water, it is held at hygroscopic coefficient, the tension varies from 31 to 10,000 atmospheres, held mostly by soil colloids, mostly non-liquid and therefore biologically inactive, moves mostly in vapor form, related to texture and organic matter content of the soil. The next is capillary water, held between field capacity and hygroscopic coefficient in micropores. Soil water tension or tension of the film varies one third atmosphere or 0.1 to 31 atmospheres. Such water is present or held in capillaries of soil, functions as soil solution, moves by film adjustment from thick to thin film, related to texture and organic matter content of soil. Third is gravitational water, it is held beyond field capacity, such water held by negative tension of 0.3 atmospheres or less loosely held between or less than 0.1 to 0.3 atmospheres usually present in macropores undesirable and nutrient leaching takes place downward movement of water due to gravitational force the second as we know the biological classification of soil water the superfluous water the moisture tension is less than or equal to one third atmosphere also called as gravitational water such water held at field capacity but not beneficial for higher plants. The second is available water, moisture tension, one third atmosphere to 15 atmospheres, portion of capillary water lying between field capacity and wilting coefficient. Availability of moisture depends upon crops when wilting coefficient is measured at 15 atmospheric pressure. It is a measure of soil condition and not that of plant because ability of the plant to absorb the soil moisture differs according to their types. Unavailable water. Such water is held in soil at permanent wilting point. It includes hygroscopic water which is removed too slowly by plants to prevent wilting and to survive. This was all about soil water. Thank you.